Christie's Direct, the animal grooming experts. With over 20 years experience, Christie's Direct has grown to over 30 employees, all with the aim of providing our customers with high quality products and market leading customer service. Our warehouse holds thousands of product ranges from leading international brands. We stock everything the professional groomer needs, from professional shampoos, dryers, baths, tables and scissors to suit all needs. Give our sales team a call today on 028 276 66879. Hi, my name's Kelly. I'm the owner of Doggy Delights. Um, I've been grooming here in our shop in Harold Hill, Romford for the last two and a half years. Um, this is little Brinkley. He's a 16-week Yorkshire Terrier puppy. And what we're going to be doing today is showing you just pet trims. Um, the idea with puppies is to bring them into your grooming room as often as possible so they get used to being groomed, they get used to being on the table. doesn't have to be four grooms every time. He's, I say, he's 16 weeks and he's been with us, he's been coming in three times now, twice for a bath and one in between just for a bit of a tidy up and just to come and socialise with the dogs that we have in the shop just to get used to the atmosphere, um, knowing exactly what we want him to do. Um, I'm just going to be tidying up his head, tidying up around his ears, tidying up his legs, feet, doing his nails, um, tidying up his towel, taking a bit of length off of his coat. I have bathed and dried him already and I have done his sanitary area and his armpits. His ears have already been plugged because he is a little bit naughty for ear plucking at the moment, he's not used to that yet. So I've had to have help doing the ear plucking. As I said, this is Brinkley's first trim. You see, he has been to us three times before, but just for tidies up on the face and two baths. So to start off with a puppy, if he's never been clipped before, always put your clipper over the dog's body, get him used to the vibration before you start doing the actual clipping. Round the neck, over his head, down his belly. Where, so make sure he's comfortable and he's not gonna play up. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, yes, Brinkley. Good. Always praise the dog when he's doing good. Good boy, Brinkley. Well done. Good boy. Good fella. Well done. Right, he's happy now, he's content. So I'm going to start clipping with a 5F comb attachment, the yellow one. Starting from the neck working down the body. Just taking off a little bit at a time, following the coat line. Good boy, good fella. Good boy, good boy. Praising him when he's doing good. Good fella. I know, what a good boy. What a good boy. So this is all new to him. Good fella, what a good boy, what a good boy. Oh, well done, what a good boy, well done. See, I'm not taking that much off his coat, just enough just to tidy him up, because we still want him to look like a puppy. What a good fella. Size round, come on this way, good boy. Steady, steady, good fella. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy you are. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. 
If you do get a puppy that's very fidgety and wriggly, it is sometimes helpful to have someone help you holding. Or if you are on your own, you groom on your own, then it is advisable to have him on a head collar just to make sure that you know you've got control over the dog. Because they are very fast and they can jump quickly off the table if they want to. Good boy. Well done. Good fella. Now I've just changed over my cover attachment to a four, which is the peach. I'm just going to now tidy around a little bit round his neck to make it a little bit shorter than the actual body, to make it neater. Good boy, Brinkley. Good boy, Brinkley. Well done. Underneath his chin and down his chest. It's okay. He's a good boy. Good fella. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, well done. Well done. Always make sure when you're holding the puppy, you hold underneath the chin to stop him from moving. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Brinkley. Good fella. Good boy. And what I also do with the comb attachment, I also go down his belly to keep it a bit shorter because he's only short legs. Good boy. Good. Hey, 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 hey. Good boy. Good boy. It's all right. Good fella. Stop. Good. Boy, oh well done. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. Sit. Because puppies can be quite wriggly, especially around the bum area, it's ideal to have your hand underneath the body holding the towel while you are clipping the back end. I'm now ready to start scissoring him up, just tidying up his legs. As a puppy trim, all I'm going to be doing is using thinners just to tidy up his featherings and his leg area. Holding him from underneath. Stand still. Good boy, Brinkley. And then, because he's never been scissored before, I'm just literally going to be pretending to scissor so he gets used to the noise. So he's not bothering him at the moment. He's interested. He wants to know what I'm doing. But it's better to be safe because you don't want to injure a dog with the scissors. Right. So he's comfortable. So all I'm going to do now is just start thinning away at the legs. Just tidying it up, not taking too much off. Inside the legs. Down to the feet. Once you've scissored one leg, comb it through. Fluff it up a bit. And then take off a little tiny bit more just to tidy it up. Good boy, stay still. Good boy. If you do need help, ask for a number of members of staff. Or if you're on your own, it is wise to keep him on a body belt to help him stand still. And then with the front legs, just taking off the featherings, just to keep it tidy. Oh, what a good boy, Brinkley. What a good boy. So this is Brinkley's first proper scissor trim. 16 weeks old and I think he's doing very very well aren't you Brinkley? Take off a little bit of the th thinners on the inside of the legs. Good boy, stand still. Good boy. Just to blend it in to make it look neater. Oh what a good boy. 
What a good boy. Good fella. Stand up. Good boy. Stand up. Good boy. Good fella. Oh, what a good boy. Once you're happy with the thinners, then you can go around with your straight, just tidy around his feet. Good boy. Stand still. Good fella. Clear the table. Good boy. So be careful with your straights because they are sharp. If you do have a fidgety dog, then it might be wise to use a pair of ball noses. That way then you know you're not going to injure their pads. Good boy. Good fella. Good boy. Stay still. Good fella. Good boy. Are you going to hold a paw up for me? Good boy. Stand up. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Good fella. Well done. Do let your dog have breaks in between the grooming. Don't expect them to stand on the table for an hour, hour and a half because all the puppies want to do is just get down and run around and play. Do it in short intervals, 10, 15 minutes is probably more than enough. Unless they do let you stand, or they let, unless they do stand still and let you do trim as much as you can. Good boy. Well done. Good boy, that's a front foot done. Now the back, stand still darling. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. And after the back leg, it's just tidying up the hocks. Good boy. Well done. I know, what a good boy. Good fella. What a good boy. I'm holding him quite close to my body to keeping him still without him fidgeting too much. There we go. And what I've done on one side, I'll do exactly the same on the opposite side. Good boy. Now I'm looking at him from the front. I'm going to try and do the inside of the leg if he sits still and lets me. Good boy, well done. Well done. Get your paw. Can I have your paw? Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. Oh, well done, Brinkley. Give me your paw. Oh, can I have your paw? Well done. Oh, what a good boy. Well done. There, yeah, see? So you've tied up the inside of the legs, make it look neater. And while I'm at the front here, all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the weight off of the under the chest. Good fella. Holding him underneath his chin. No, stand still. What a good boy. What a good boy. Good fella. That's it, that's that side done. And all I'm going to do is exactly the same on the other side. I've got one of my colleagues in to help me, just because it was a bit too fidgety for me to do on my own. I'm just going to tidy up his towel. Comb it outwards, and then just go down then with your thinners. Stand up, baby girl. Good boy, stand up. Good fella. Just 
tidying up so it doesn't look untidy. And then tidy around his bum. Nice and neat. And just take tip off the towel. And then while I'm here, I'm just going to tidy down his knickers just to blend it all in. That's all done. Okay. Right, with puppies, make sure you get they get used to being held underneath their chin, because this is the main part why we need to hold them here for their eyes. All I'm going to do, I'm just going to tidy up the hair in front of his eyes. Good boy, praising him the whole time. Good fella. So say he's only ever had this done once when he was in mummy's arms. So this is his first time of having his eyes trimmed. Good boy. Just do a little bit at a time. Make sure he's comfortable and not wriggling. Good boy. And then comb it down. Good boy. Good boy. All the owners, when they come in, they say, oh, I want to make sure they see the dog's eyes. So make sure you keep it nice and clear. Good boy, it's okay. It's okay. Good boy. Well done. And then the same on the other side. Trim the other eye. Good boy. I know. I know. What a good boy you are. What a good boy you are. Such a good boy. Stop. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. He hasn't got much of a visor. So I'll just bring it a little bit in front. And all I'm going to do is just tidy that up. Good boy. Oh, you're going to sleep, are you? Oh, what a good boy. Boy, there we go. Good fella. That's better. While we're on the eye section, I'm just going to take off a little bit of his hair by his nose, his muzzle, just to thin it down a bit. Oh, what a good boy. That's better. What a good boy. All I'm going to do now, I'm just going to shape his muzzle round towards the ear with straights. If he's too fidgety, then I'll use my thinners. Brinkley, stop. Good boy. Good fella. Well done. Good boy. Oh, well done. No, stand still. Stand still. I know. No, that's no, 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 no. Good boy. Good boy. Change out to thinners just to blend this in. Good boy. Oh, I know. What a good boy you are. I know. You don't want me to hold you, do you? Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Well done. Once I've blended it in, all I'm going to do now is just tidy around his ears. Good fella. Good boy. I know, I know. Good boy. Right. Stand still. Stand still. Right, I need Chelsea's help. Chelsea, can you just come in for a minute? Just hold his muzzle for me, just there, so I can hold his ear without his dropping his head. Good boy. 
All I'm going to do now is just tidy around his ears with thinners. Good boy. And again, getting used to the noise of the scissors. So he knows we're not doing anything all the time. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. And all I'm going to do is just going to tidy up the inside of his ear. Then the back of the ear. Good boy. Sit and then check over your work with your comb. Good boy. Oh, that's better. That's better. Good boy, well done. And I'll do the same again on the other side. With the smaller puppies, I tend to do their nails holding them, just taking the tips off. Most of the time they don't realise they're having their nails done if they're having cuddles at the same time. Good boy. Well done, good boy. Well done. Being black nails, you need to make sure. Be careful. You you don't cut too much and make them bleed. Good boy. Well done. Well done. What a good boy. What a good boy. It's okay. Steady. Stop. Stop. Good boy. Well done. Well done, what a good boy. Last one, Duke Claw. Good fella. What I'm using now is just the cat nail scissors. Just for small dogs, they're so much easier. Good boy. Back nails are, are quite short, so I'm just taking just the tips off. He's not fussed at all by his nails. So I've got a good puppy here. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. It's okay. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. Done. That's all brinkly done. Um, we've just done, say, the teddy cut, the ten and a four comb attachment over him, tidied up his head, towel, ears, nails have been tipped. Um, depending on how quickly he grows, we could see him again in four to six weeks or six to eight weeks, and depend on the owner. As regards to grooming and maintenance, we advise the owner just to comb him out regularly, daily, um, and to keep an eye on his his face, his eyes, if they need trimming up in between grooms, your groomer should be able to help you do that. We offer um, our customers with small dogs, um, if they have a wash and tidy, we don't tend to take the weight off of the coat, we tend to just do a, a face tidy, a feet tidy, leg tidy, a sanitary area, um, it just helps keep them maintained and keep them clean. He's done very well for his first full groom at 16 weeks old. Mm.